So looking at week one, so at least so far, we got four teams playing tonight, two games, Monday Night Football. But from what you saw yesterday, who just just forget Thursday night, okay? So I'm not gonna say week one. Forget Thursday. Right. First Sunday, who impressed you the most? A team, a team that impressed me the most. Pick whatever you want. It could be a team. It could be a broadcast. It could be a player. It could be a groundskeeper. It could be an official. Obviously not an official. So whoever you want. I got to go with Kyler Murray. I got to go with Murray to Hopkins. Mm, because that connection, huh? Yeah. Well, 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 14 catches for Hopkins, and we've always he's been one of those guys. I'm happy for him because he's one. He's been one of those guys who has always uh, who has gotten some credit for being a great receiver. In, in less than ideal circumstances. Now I got Deshaun Watson, who was a great quarterback. But yeah. once he gets Deshaun Watson, now the last couple of years we find out he doesn't have a co- head coach who's all about him. So in this situation, he got his money, a record deal in Arizona. He's got a young quarterback in Kyler Murray. Himself. Yeah. He's got a coach who says, okay, this is what the offense, this is the offense I'm going to have. I'm really happy for, for our DeAndre Hopkins. And we talked about him and talked about Murray. I don't think a lot of people, uh, I don't know what Vegas said, because I didn't bet on that game either, Mike, but uh, I don't know what Vegas said about Niners, Cardinals, but I'm guessing the Niners were favorites. Yeah. And the Cardinals could be At a nice At home, for kid. sure, yeah. And the yeah. Cardinals could be a nice no, that... So they, they, they stood out to me. How about you? No, and Kyler Murray looked, looked really good, um, you know, running and throwing. Yo, I'm going to go with money-making Mitch. I'm gonna go with Mitchell Trubisky, you know. And listen, I might as well give you. I didn't see that coming. What? I, I, what, who, well, of course you didn't, because when they were down 17, who saw who saw them coming back? You know, I mean, it was. Look, man, you want to talk about the the phrase "much maligned" is, is is often used. You know what I'm saying? Like this guy has. I mean, you just mentioned Deshaun Watson, Patrick Mahomes, two highest paid players in history, and the Bears traded up to get this guy. And they love him so much in Chicago as an organization that they declined his fifth-year option on his rookie contract and traded for Nick Foles. That's how much they, they believe in Mitchell Trubisky this offseason. Put him through a quarterback contra- uh, quarterback, not controversy, quarterback competition. Yeah. Wins the quarterback competition. We were all like, oh, he won it? Okay, cool. You know, He comes out, and I mean, he's down. Every reason to hang his head. And they come back. With, I mean, that, that pass he threw to Anthony Miller was what that was it was like that it was like that and so i'm just like oh okay i see you mitchell trubisky so it's like you know what who knows if it's a, if it's if it's just you know a one week thing or if he's actually going to be better this year but for one week at least, at least from that i want to get this man his, his props you know what i mean good for it's just one of those feel good stories like good for him you know what i mean he's, he's taking a lot of abuse second overall. rightfully so they second overall second number overall. two pick of the draft traded up to number get two. <laughs> it. number two pick of the draft not only the number two pick of the draft number two pick in the same draft <laughs> <laughs> the same yeah. draft. Boy, we have let me ask you Patrick a quick Mahomes question. And Deshaun Watson. What's up? Let me let me ask you a quick question. You're wait, hold, hold on, hold on, Courtney. Hold on, Courtney. We go we go get there. Tell him hold up. Um who you're an Ohio guy, Akron, Ohio is yes. on. Shout out. Suck does it suck Shout more out. to be a does it suck more to be a Browns or a Lions fan today? I've been wanting to ask you that all morning. Which fan which fan base do you feel sorrier for? Bernie, you know that the Browns have not won an opener since 2004. Meanwhile, the Lions fired Jim Caldwell after nine wins, and our man Matt Patricia got nine wins in his tenure since. Like, which fan base right now should just be like, you know what? I'm, I'm done. Well, he ain't I'm my man out. no more. Hey, don't, 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 don't put that <laughs> on me. He don't he ain't, he ain't returned a call. A call said phone still work. He ain't called nobody. He ain't called a brother. So yeah. no, that ain't my boy. Yeah. You get what you deserve. Yeah. See, <laughs> you call call somebody stop, back. Stop. Um, but no. Um, but I would say, who do I feel sorry for? In all seriousness, Detroit. Why, dude? They haven't won since the fifties. Like nineteen fifty seven was the last time they won a championship. Nineteen fifty seven. So yeah. we, we talk about we talk about the Browns. Yeah, the Browns left and then came back. But Detroit, can you imagine just year after year where you're not angry. You're not just angry about the Lions. Your daddy angry about the Lions. Your granddaddy angry about the Lions because it has right. been that long since they won. Because so on I the flip like, side, because on the flip side, I just gave Mitch Trubisky props. If you're a Detroit fan, you're like, we just got cooked by Mitchell Trubisky. It's like, it's just, when you think you've seen it all, they just, they just invent new and creative ways to lose. Speaking of losing, 
Before we move on, I just got to I got to yeah. I got to bring up the other team that quote unquote impressed me. Although this wasn't part of the plan. Who was my squad going into 2020? I told you who my player was. Tell oh, me who's this. been my team going into 2020. Who's my team? This, this is Jacksonville. Who's my team? Jacksonville. Jacksonville. How did they fool around and lose that game yesterday? How did Jacksonville fool around and lose that game yesterday? Why and you, you know, I, you know what Why I'm you saying. Say lost? That's not part of the plan. That was not part of the plan. <laughs> because Michael, you and I, many moons ago, we were much younger and had more energy and less obligations. Our friendship was forged in franchise mode. Oh, and man. we would turn around franchises by liquidating the roster in Madden, whatever year that would have been. 2001, two, three, whatever it was. All of them. The team we would have All picked is Jacksonville. The team we would have picked to, to turn around is Jacksonville, and they did it for us. They literally dismantled this team. They gutted the roster, but who knew that they had heart? Who knew that they left this team with some heart? And Gardner Minshew out here going 19 for 20. I'm like, nah, man. This is we take it for Trevor. What are you What's doing? Deal? Like, hey, we hey, can't, hey. we can't. Mike, you got if we were in franchise mode, phone. Michael. No, you didn't. If we were in franchise mode, Michael, right now, I would have reset it and simulated it again. I would not have gone with a win in week one because that is not what we're trying to do. We got 11 draft picks. We, Duval County, we got 11 draft picks. And number one draft pick is supposed to be ours, plus the Rams pick. That's okay. They won. They could win a couple of games, yeah. not too many. But they're working for us this year. Listen, I, love, I like Gardner a lot, but this is not part of the plan. You can win and get the picks. You can do both. No big deal. I, I want I want higher picks, but little shout out to nineteen out of twenty. Nineteen out of twenty. I don't know. Maybe maybe he's not the guy. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.